Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we'll be doing another installment of the style concept series, where I feature a style that could be added to the game, and you guys send in suggestions for that style. Of course, just like I mentioned, today we'll be looking at Itagaki style, or as I call it, the Chrono style. It seems like George beat me to the punch, so if you haven't, for sure give his video a watch as well. Anyway, let's get straight to it. The Chrono style is a legendary mid-range style, with some risky but insanely strong mechanics. More on these later. Its description reads, a flawless mixture of speed, timing, and confidence. When you're in a match, nothing will break your drive and focus, making you impossible to catch off guard. With insanely strong dashes, lightning fast attacks, and the ability to slow down time for all but you, the only limit to your potential are those of the human body. Special Ability, Itagaki Shuffle. Ultimate, Hyperfocus. Onto its stats. Kronos has insanely fast and long dashes, dashes and attacks that drain little stamina, fast attacks, and it deals extra damage on block with light attacks. Itagaki is probably the fastest boxer we've ever seen, with his speed seeming almost endless, surpassing Mashiba's flickers, Siki's mobility, Kurosawa's hand speed, and even being said to be faster than Miyata, a world ranker. Thus, he'd have very good dashes, compared to hands low, only that they'd be even faster. His attacks would also be very fast, making it hard to keep up with him. I feel like Itagaki's attack speed would be similar to hands low, maybe on a high ball equal to Hitman, but that's pushing it a little. He'd also deal a solid amount of chip damage, as his whole style revolves around him dealing insane amounts of damage through guards with his narrow fists and angle finding. As for its cons, Kronos would have extremely weak attacks, it would take more damage from heavy attacks, it would be very weak to counters, and it would have a weak block. Itagaki was notorious for being terrible with his endurance and hit taking, so I feel that making Kronos take more overall damage and having pretty bad defense would be pretty fair. The whole goal of this style is going to be not getting hit at all, so being patient and outspeeding the opponent would make things a lot more challenging. There's also his attack power, which in the manga, was one thing he struggled a lot with. Itagaki doesn't have KO power like most others do, since he's just not built for that kind of fighting. So, by making his attacks weaker, maybe on par with hands low, I feel like it would make using the style pretty hard for people who just mindlessly dash and hit without a care in the world. Kronos attacks would likely look like this, the first attack in the string is either a straight or a jab, followed by a barrage of left jabs he uses in the manga, known as the hedgehog. This would look pretty similar to the shotgun barrage, as it's just a really fast flurry of lefts. It would be these jabs that deal extra chip damage, just to help you out when it comes to dealing damage since you're already so weak. Of course, all this extra damage is healable, so you'd still need to land an M2 or continuously get M1S to whittle it down. The heavies would just be hands lows, only faster. Of course, that means he'd be using the left uppercut and the right straight for heavies. I chose these because in his fights, he's quite a fan of counter-attacks, and his uppercuts and right straights are some of the most common attacks he uses to get some damage off. He used these pretty often in the manga, so I feel like they fit his style well. I imagine the dashes would just sort of be hands low, only a bit faster, allowing you to be a little more precise with perfect dodging. You'd still suffer from the dash stamina penalty, so still no dash spam. They just drain less base stamina. Now, as I'm sure you all have been waiting, onto the gimmick. This gimmick would be another button ability, similar to Shotgun and Ghost. But I'm not going to be using their offensive style abilities, nor am I going to be using the buff ability Freedom is rumored to have. Instead, I'd like to introduce to you a new type of ability that relies on your own timing and understanding of the opponent, the parry type abilities. These abilities would be special counter-attacks that depend on the opponent's actions to activate. Think Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat 1, for example. His fatal blow is a parry of sorts, where if the enemy attacks him or stands too close, 
they'll get punished for it. If not, the opponent will be punished instead. That's what I imagine Kronos' ability will be. In the manga, there is a special technique only extremely talented boxers know how to do, an omnidirectional feint that can strike fear into the hearts of even experienced boxers. That's of course, the Itagaki Shuffle. The description of this ability reads, a rapid movement, fainting movement in every direction, making the opponent unsure about where you'll come from. Press R to activate the Itagaki Shuffle. This shuffle lasts for about 2 seconds, and will continuously drain stamina. The shuffle will make both your attack and dash indicator flash rapidly as you move around in place. If the opponent attacks in reaction to this, you'll instantly counter hit them, attacking them from all angles in a massive barrage that deals massive damage. If they do not attack, however, you will receive stamina broken stun as normal once the duration is over. I prefer this over the time slow and insanely long jab combos that a lot of people suggest, simply because, 1, I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't want to spend around 30 seconds spamming M1S on block, just not to even break it. And 2, imagine you're having the time of your life playing the game, but then after the ability cooldown is over, time slows down and you literally can't even fight back. It just doesn't seem like a very fair mechanic, as if this version made it to the game, the opponent could just dash around the ring, waiting for the cooldown to end, and then just slow time and get insane damage off. This parry mechanic, however, encourages risky plays, and observing from both you and the opponent. If the opponent likes to dash in and attack, this parry could very quickly force them into situations they don't know how to deal with. But that takes both learning how the opponent plays and proper timing from the user, making it a very high skill, high risk ability. Last but not least, the ultimate. I didn't base it off any particular fight, but rather, a mix of a lot of fights Itagaki has had. Its description reads, rush forward, holding your breath, dodging punch after punch in seemingly slow motion, before delivering a flurry of hedgehog jabs. Just as they try to fight back, time seems to slow, as you lay into them with five direct counter punches. This ultimate would deal normal ultimate damage. Now, as I wrap up my portion of the video, I just wanted to once again recommend you all go watch George's video of Kronos. While I disagree with the use of the ability, I still feel he did a wonderful job with his version. I especially like the long perfect dodge duration, but I plan on saving those mechanics for a certain other speedster style. I just feel that having Kronos have longer perfect dodge duration is just kind of overkill for an already great style, but it could be good to use on another style. Anyway, time to look at some concepts sent in by viewers like you. So, as always, thank you for the suggestions. This user suggested that Itagaki's style would work like this, you'd have excellent attack speed and dashes, but a weaker block that recovers very slowly, basically, the opposite of turtle. This would make it very hard to defend against attacks, as block shred would be made worse than normal due to its weaker block and guard regeneration. You'd also be able to instantly back dash, which is already great, but this dash would also be very long. It mentions that if it's interrupted, it's harder to recover, so either that means it drains absurd stamina if it's hit during the dash animation, or it could also just mean it's harder to defend yourself with something like a stun preventing you from blocking. The ultimate is based on his shuffle, where he vanishes and then appears again when he attacks. It would deal normal ultimate damage. Overall, this version of it seems to be pretty simple. I feel like the ability is a little underwhelming, but having the attacks be pretty fast, plus the block regeneration being very slow makes this a pretty unique idea. And that's about it for the Chrono style. Overall, I'd like to see this style in the game. I decided to make my style a little different than what most people think of when they make a concept for Chronos, mainly because that version has already been discussed to death. Like I mentioned, having the slow down effect be an ability someone can just activate seems pretty unfair to the other player, as the dashes could potentially encourage people to play passive, to the point where fighting a Kronos user is just impossible. Thanks again for all the support on these videos, it means a lot to me. 
Anyways, hope to see you all again soon, as that's all from me. See ya.